there's not a standard amount of soap you're going to use. When you go to put the brightening shampoo in, put as much as you need, you're going to mix it with water. As you start putting that in, you may notice, depending on your bucket, it is going to have some color to it. Like for instance, this is my black bucket's going to have the blue color. It's a optical enhancers at work. It is dye free. So just because it does change colors on you, it's, a, it's not got any dye in it. Apply as much water in here as you need to. You want to get it as sudsy as you possibly can. Again, That way you can get, <clears throat> that's what you're going to apply to the sheep's body. Once you get your brightening shampoo mixed up with your water, you brush it on, even strokes, all over their body to where <clears throat> you can smooth it up, try to keep that wool smooth and tight. Once it's all brushed on, you will just blow it out. You don't have to rinse it back out. It's not abrasive enough to where it's going to hurt their body or hurt their skin. You just brush it on evenly. Once you get it brushed on, you need to wipe, kind of wipe the excess down. And then we'll blow it in, <clears throat> blow it out, and start shearing again. Suds back on them. Uh, for my for my reasoning is, is whenever you put, apply that on there, it's going to liven that wool and that dead space back, or that dead wool back up. They get a little dry whenever you go across them the first time. So you want to put that on there, blow that out, and it makes that wool pop. It kind of softens or hide, softens that wool. It kind of makes everything pop again. So whenever you do that, you can brush it back down. When you go back across in a different direction and start shearing them, as you can tell, just when I rub in your hand again, it's going to make that wool stand up. Once you go to picking it up with the clippers, you can, you'll notice you pick up a lot more wool than what you would if you didn't use the soap again. <laughs>